Welcome to our YouTube channel, PG Tech Support. In our previous video, we learned how to utilize Sentinel-1 image so that we can calculate the flood extent. And also, in our second video, we did the damage assessment. And now, for this third video, we'll be doing the visualization uh, displaying. So, how to display this title, this legend, and the result panel. So, let's get started. So, finally, after calculating everything, as you can see, in this control as well, the flood affected crop land is going to be uh, in hectares. It is going to be 10,989 or 109 square kilometer. Okay, so flood affected built up area would be 1485 hectares, and number of people are being exposed is 83,043. Numbers of people are being affected by the flood. So these all every every earlier in earlier video also we talked about the flood extent. It is now printed in the console, but we want to make it available. In the map itself so we can also build a application on the basis of the same so in this step uh, for the steps we'll be displaying all results in our map panel okay so this is the map panel we can see that this is the title here this is the result panel which is showcasing how much impact uh, was the recorded and here we can see on the right bottom we can see the legend what various uh, elements are re going to represent in this map so for this we are going to display our result so this are uh, first thing first we want to create a title label and on the basis of a ui dot label we are now uh, going to define our title as a himachal pradesh flood july 2023 and here we have provided various uh, visualization parameters so font weight would be i want it to be bold okay so font size would be 24 pixels and i also want to set the margin of the pixels and here i am adding this title to uh, to my map panel okay with this code and now I want to further showcase my results and these results would be uh, would be considered would be contained in the panel. Uh, so here I am defining the panel. So uh, defining the panel and setting the style, the position would be on the bottom left. As you can see that it is in the bottom left. OK, so this is the left and in the bottom, not the top. OK, so this is how I'm setting the setting the positions and also setting the padding. Also, I can set the width of a, a width of a, this panel. OK, so this is the width. So I can set it uh is as i like okay so i'm now defining the various visualization parameters as you can see there are uh, uh, these texts are differently uh showcased here they are being dis uh, differently displayed here uh, uh, like this is one of one of the type flood timeline and this is red and you can see these are in the gray color so that kind of a visualization parameters are being set here so i'm setting the visualization parameter for the title text visualizations and similarly text visualization subtext visualization number visualization how i want to display my number okay so now i will be adding what to display okay what sentences or how i want to display the labels so here i can see you can see that i want to set the title labels in the panel the result panel is an impact and similarly float timeline i am going to define the flood timeline okay so similarly i want to display the dates with the concat as you can see after start date is being considered and after end date is also being considered here and similarly others okay so here i also have included that uh, what kind of a data sets are being used uh, here you can see the fao global administrative unit list 2015 and similarly others okay so these kind of a data is being showcased in my result panel okay so i will just want to mention that as you see that uh, this uh, this auth engine is going to process everything in the background okay so while uh, processing in the background then it is going to take some time as you can see that i am uh, i have already uh, already calculated the flood extent okay but in real time it is going to take some time like 5 seconds or 10 seconds for that scenario i am also going to define the please wait okay so if i am not having the value that is going to be displayed in the flood extent number it is going to hint the users that there is some calculations is being done in the background so i want to display that message and if i got the value okay my my cloud processing is successfully done then it is going to give me some value then it is now going to replace my earlier please wait tag with the values that has been now calculated and it's made available to us now after calculating everything then we will be now adding our each element as you see here title level flood timeline everything will be added to our result panel and in our next board we can see that these result panels are now being added to the map as well so here you can see the final result it will be like this okay uh, just seeing how the evaluation work evaluate functions work let's just 
kill the run once again so you can have a clear idea how this okay this is how it is going to work the valid functions now here you can see the please wait because uh, in the background it is going to calculate uh, this cropland area or this built up area or this populations as you can see that earlier it was please wait and now after getting the value it is going to replace that please wait with the value which is now 83043 okay now we have defined our title and also the result panel and now we also want to showcase the legend here so for defining that legend we are again going to define the legend panel so here you can see i'm also adding the legend panel uh, that is uh, going to define the panel here so style would be position as you can see it is going to be in the right bottom okay so i'm defining the position here and uh, i also want to add the legend title and here is how i add the legend title with ui.label okay so i'm also going to add that legend title to my legend panel okay and now i'm going to add legend with the function that uh, is going to have the color and name is a parameter and on the basis of those parameters i am going to draw a box uh, as you can see here i'm going to draw the box and also going to set the built up here as you can see that uh, items names will be also set okay on the basis of this function and i'm also going to uh, call each of the items that were stored in the dictionary as you uh, just recall that we also defined the dictionary in above code uh, okay so here you can see the dictionary and on the basis of this dictionary the names as a key and the, there are various values i'm going to call each of these values and i'm going to call each of these colors so on the basis of the same i'm going to uh, going to call on the basis of a for loop okay so this is for loop and it is going to uh, call the function a uh, function with the uh, that is going to take colors and names as a parameters and on the basis of the same function we are going to draw the box with the color background of this uh, the given color item and also it is going to set the item name that is all already defined in that land cover type and finally i also want to add other items okay so here we can we have now calculated the flooded area and also the affected crop and also the affected buildup and also the exposed populations so i am also going to add and call that functions with a color and a name that is going to display my required flood area affected crop items uh, and finally i am going to add that legend to my map panel so this would be the final result and uh, have you noticed here the flood extent that was earlier it was please wait now it is being replaced by the values that is flood extent of area 411 square kilometers has been inundated during the himanchal pradesh flood on july 2023 so this is how we are going to calculate and also going to display our result in the map panel and here you can see we have done the damage assessment how much cropland area is being affected and how much built up area is being affected and how much population is being exposed to the flood 83043 so this is how it is being done and here you can see that data set being used are fao global administrative unit list 2015 sentinel one sar gid data and uh, and i also define that this script is by un spider and edited by me okay so finally here we can also see that these are the various legends uh, that are being displayed in this map if i zoom in then it is also going to change on the fly so it is going to take some time so you can see this black dotted it's called flooded area okay this is uh, the representation for the flooded area i just want to uncheck this uh, other uh, data here uh, so i can focus on how much area is being flooded during uh, this flood in july okay so you can see these black are the flooded area okay this is how we can do or we can analyze and also calculate how much extent of a flood is uh, affecting how much area how much cropland how much built up and how much populations are being exposed with the help of a centennial one data so you can check out our other tutorials as well uh, so I have, we have made very nice tutorials on how centennial two images okay can also be used uh, for doing the same uh, for doing the flood analysis and also we can uh, do the same with the precipitation maps so this is uh AG Tech support uh, signing off please do like comment and subscribe to our channel and also you can check out our tutorials in our blog post for tech guru guides and you can try out these course please leave a comment if you want to learn more uh, and keep supporting us thank you